Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica data quality. In today's session, we will see what is the admin console for data quality, uh, Informatica data quality. And we will also configure the, the one of the important service that is MRS service that is repository service into the developer tool. So whatever the screen you are, go, you are able to see here, it is nothing but the Informatica data quality admin console. How can you log in? You can, in order to log in, you have to use your server name. So my server name, like the vn 4 fc something like that. And once you do that, you have to provide the port as 8443. If you are using uh, a application server like the weblogic or the jbus the corresponding uh, port number you have to provide once you're done with that a login pop-up will come where you have to provide the admin user and it's a credential or the user who have the access to the admin console its user and the password once you log in so once the login is successful you will able to see the screen so this screen consists of the various tabs. So it is very easy to use. It's a, a tab tab developed it's a component application. The first tab name is domain, the logs, monitoring, reports, security, and the cloud. So all the nodes and the corresponding services can be configured under the domain tab. If you want to monitor the logs of the server, you can monitor in the log section. If you want to monitor the server itself, you can go to the monitor section, monitoring section, and you can monitor your services. Reports are used to analyze the services, how it is performing, which service is taking more time and all that. The security feature can be configured into the security tab. If you are going to use the cloud feature of the Informatica app, uh, data quality MD, uh, informatica data quality data quality then you can use the cloud section cloud tab of this console so let's go uh, on the we will have the more overview of the domain so in this domain we have the left navigator view and the right the actual overview section so navigator view will show you the navigation of the all the services so correspond Currently, I have the eight services like PC repo service, then we have the integration service, MM service, MRS service, DS service, analyst, CMS, dashboard. So these are the important services which we need to configure before using the analyst tool or the developer tool for the data quality. So once you select at the top the domain name, you can see, you will be able to see the overview section properties sources permissions if you want to diagnose particular service in the, you can use the diagnostic section and the plugins so these are the things available corresponding to each each of the service so there are various services involved in this section so we will see one by one the first service is nothing but the reporting and data dashboard service so what are the available in the dashboard and how that will be managed and maintained by the dashboard service the next thing is nothing but the analyst service the analyst service actually helps us to analyze the data or for the what are the analyst tool running so that will be using the analyst service then we have the mrs service that is model repository service so developer tool use this model repository tool to develop the, uh, the various components for the data quality. Then we have the data integration service, which will help us to integrate the various components of the informatic data quality. Then we have the power center integration service. So we know that power center is a different component like uh, it's a completely outside the informatica data quality so if you are if you're going to integrate that with the informatica data quality that is idq so that will be used uh, that will be achieved using the power center integration service then we have the content management service which will be helped to manage the content so these are the major services involved into the informatica mdm 
So once you configure, if you want to see the properties for the particular service, you can go to the properties section. If you want the sources which are used for the particular service, you can go to the resources section to see the resources. Now once you're done or successfully, if, if your all the services are success, successfully running, so there is a symbol, you can, you can just uh, uh, take your mouse on, on any label, that is hover your mouse on the particular service, you will find what is the status of the, that service. What is the name of service? Like in this case, the name of service is reporting and dashboard service. The service status is available and the process status is it is available. That is means process is, process is running or not. On which node it is running, that node name also available. So similarly, you can check on the all the components. It's very, very easy to use. Now suppose you want to filter it out, the particular service, you can drop down, you can filter out only what are the available service, what are the disabled and what are the unavailable services. So these are the things associated with the admin console. And you can, if you want to restart or you can stop, just right click and you can achieve that. By, you can, so here the dependence you can see, recycle means it is restarting the service. If you want to see the properties, if you want to see the dependency, you can see there. If you want to take the action, like the, you can go to the action tab and you can do the refresh. If you want to delete, you have to select one of the service and you can delete it. Here, there is one more action that is a global action kind of thing, which will, if you want to shut down the domain, the domain itself, if you want to shut down, you can shut down. And here is the view, what kind of view, uh, if you want to details of the e-service, then you can click that, you will see the details. So this is the Informatica Data Quality Admin Console. Let's see what is the Data Quality Developer Tool. So this is the tool which is uh, also called as Informatica Developer. It analyzes different tool than the developer. In the developer, we define the rules, whatever we are defined in the analyst phase, we actually create the rules inside this. We define the sources, we create the maplets and we run the uh, maplets here. We can also define the rules and the tasks also. So how can you configure this? We know that the NPyMRS service which we already configured using the admin console. In order to configure that, we can go to the uh, means object explorer, right click on that and it will give us one pop-up where we have to give the name of the MRS service. The name of service is infa underscore MRS. That is the uh, service name. The, we also we need to provide the domain name. Like here, if I give new and project. So once you create that service, you can create the project. So in order to create project, you have to select on the Infi MRS, right click on the Infi MRS, it will give that option. Then we select the new and then select the project. Then we can give the project name and the other details. In this case, I gave the name as a test project. Repository I select is Infi MRS or you can browse also. So what are the uh, uh, MRS services available? You can check one of that and you can select next. You can define the users. Those will be using this project and what are the access they have. By default, administrator have the read, write and the grant access and then you can finish it. Once it is finished, you can see the, that project inside the Infi MRS. So all this developer tool which is running here that internally uses the MRS service which we have just seen into the Informatica Data Quality Console. So this is tightly integrated with these services and also with the database. So any changes happening over there will definitely have the impact on the Informatica developer tool. If the one of the services is not working like the MRS service, if it is not working, then you will not able to use the Informatica developer tool. 
So these are the things you need to keep in mind while starting or while developing the informative data quality application. Now we can see our project inside this NPIMRS. If you want to see the details of the NPIMRS, you can see here, like you can uh, you can open or the closed project that is fine. Let's see other options in the windows. You have the option like what are, what kind of view you want to see. If you want to navigation, so like how, how the navigation you want to see the preferences if you want to see the what are the preferences available like the general and the informatica so you can use the, any of these preferences if you select the connection what connections you have you can see the connections details inside the connection label then we have the content status data quality grossly glossary data integration services then we have the uh, delimiter domains etc now this is the service name suppose you want going to use any of the database and for example oracle how you are going to use that so each thing we will see in the upcoming session so this is the just overview uh, tutorial session so here you will you have seen how what are these details which are available into the informatica data admin console and how we are going to use the mrs service into the developer Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, you can mention in the video below. Have a nice time.